market update here on the 30th. So things are go going according to plan, just melt up in everything pretty much. Um, SPY up another 0.6%, QQQ up basically 1%. And so you pretty much already know what I'm probably going to say here. And that is, we still got higher to go. And I have it drawn out right here. So we have one, two, three. I think we're in a fourth wave or we've already finished the fourth wave. But I won't be surprised if uh, this ends up being ABC. And we have a slight dip tomorrow. Um, that's possible. But this hit the 0.23 fib. If we look at um, where this could go from here, as far as targets, we're looking at pretty much what I talked about in the video yesterday, 410, 409 to 410 for a fifth wave. So there's no reason to be bearish here at all. Um, just watch it melt up. Again, the 1.61 fib is sitting here at... 416 but I don't see us getting there the 1.23 is at 407.50 that's possible as a destination but there's a supply zone here at 410 so I would expect us to at least probably test that supply zone so I would expect um, tomorrow to be potentially the end of this I know JB Morgan has a caller that ends at um, 4060 and I'm not sure if uh, we're going to hit it tomorrow. Are they going to finish it below that or whatnot? On SPX, we are sitting here at... Probably should start using SPX more, but... We're at 405 right now. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're going to finish it probably below that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the caller was. I know the downside one, but... The upside one, I think it's, they want to finish it right below it. I think they sold some covered calls. So we'll see if that plays out. If that's the case, then I would probably expect this to make the ABC. And maybe this whole day will just be kind of chop higher and then fall into the close. That's possible. And then next week we finish off this move higher. So... Hopefully everyone's banking on this. Um, it's actually pretty easy. If you just buy them and have a tight stop, buy whatever, buy one of these tech stocks, have a tight stop, and just kind of have an idea of how much money you're willing to risk and make sure the risk reward is in your favor. And it's pretty easy to make money right now. So moving on to QQQ, same thing. Um, I have this labeled as One, two, three, four, and then this fifth wave I think is extended. This is a third wave because you can see the big explosion here. Fourth wave here. I have this labeled as one, two, and then I have this as one, two, three, four, and five up here somewhere. Fourth wave all the way down here. And so I think we are beginning a fifth wave higher. Uh, my target's still 321. We'll see if we get there. Kind of an extended fifth wave, but um, it all makes sense once you zoom out and look at the 1.61 fib being here at 321. So there's a supply zone that we're already in right now. And so that would be bearish normally, but my target's a little bit higher. So it can go all the way up here to the top of the supply zone before we fall. One thing that I'm not sure about though is if we're going to get a slight dip, not all the way down here to 297 at this point. Um, this technically could be a five wave move because we have a five wave move here, pullback. This is a five wave move too. So it's either ABC or a five wave move. Five wave move, we'd probably only be looking for like 306, probably back here to this demand zone and then go higher. But then that would also mean that the bear market's over. So I still think that what I said um, before is more likely that this is actually ABC or WXY. So WXY, and then we pull back here to 
probably the 0.38 fib or the 0.38s here at 296. So 296 and then go higher is still my number one um, path. But the five wave move is possible. That would just mean that the bear market's over with though. Because if we get a five wave move up, that means we're at least going to do an ABC move higher. And that would just mean that um, corrective moves are done. So, so yeah, uh, we'll have to watch that. I would expect either one of them, though, to be corrective off the top. So if we go to, it's going to be kind of hard to tell until we go up on the next wave, um, whether it's five wave move or it's um, ABC or WXY. So this whole move would be W, pullback would be X and Y. The reason it's X is because it's shorter than a B wave um, time length. So B wave usually goes as long as an A wave. And so I label it WXY because an X wave can be shorter in the time length. So that's, app, that's QQQ in SPY. Let's go over Apple. Apple looks like it's probably going to go to 165. Um, I think this is ABC actually though. You can see it didn't get outside the parallel lines. So we're looking at something like probably to here. And then I'd probably expect this to be a full W pullback and then higher at that. So 165, probably going to pull back to 157 to 154 and then go higher. So right into supply, pull back, probably into some kind of demand on lower time frames and then higher to 177. That's what I'm looking for on Apple. That's not really that big of a dip though. That's only a, if it goes to 157, that's only a 5% dip. And usually QQQ follows Apple. So 321, that's only 16 points. We'd be back at 305. So 305 is possible too, just based on where I think Apple will go. This demand zone is possible for the pullback. Now it would just mean we're going to go even higher, most likely. Um, we'll have to see though. Uh, Microsoft, I've been trading this one again. I got, I got back in at 282 because I got out yesterday. Because I think it's going to go to 288. And I still think it's a five wave move from here. One, two. And we're currently in, let me zoom in. So this is a fourth wave. Um, is that right? This could be, actually now looking at it, it could end up being a B wave, except for, this is probably the third wave right here. That's kind of what I'm expecting right here, because we're going to 288. So breaking it down on lower time frames sometimes gets confusing, especially when I'm on the video already. But uh, the third wave is at 288. Here at 288. So that's what I'm looking for for a pullback. But I was thinking that Microsoft might just finish this five wave move before QQQ pulls back because it's so close. It's only $7 away from 291. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm looking for 288 at least here uh, soon. Amazon's a little bit weird. Um, but my base. What I'm thinking on Amazon is that we're probably going to head up here to 108, pull back to like 101 or 100, and then go up here to 121. And this whole move will end up being, again, W, X, Y to 121, and then we'll sell off. So I think Amazon is actually probably the best risk reward from here. I think you can go all the way to 121. With the melt up of QQQ. And so I'm personally probably going to try to get some Amazon here soon. And hopefully it plays out. We can go to 121. Again, you can look at the bottom here at 88, bottom here at 81, top here at 114, 121. 
So this is probably just A pullback B. Is that the 0.5 fib? Let's see. Or maybe back here to 98 and then up here to 121. But the 0.38 fib is actually more likely because based on the bottom here, pullback, it makes more sense for um, where it's going to go. So either way, you can wait for the pullback or you can get in right now, but it's probably going to go a little bit higher. Meta is probably going to go higher as well. We got, I still think it has to hit the supply zone at the minimum. But it looks like a five wave move. Um, I would look for 216 to 220. And then it's probably going to do the same thing I talked about on Apple and where it's ABC. So I think that it's going to be, it makes more sense for it to be this rather than, but it could be a five wave move too. It just means it would probably go higher than that and if we look at how far it pulled back so the bottom here is at 88 bottom here is at 167 that's about 80 bucks so we're looking at something around 277 if this goes at 220 the 1.61 fibs only at 252 so maybe it will end up being a five wave move. That just means that QQQ is going to go way higher, but it also could just go to the 1.23 fib here at 232. So we'll see if it's ABC, I'm looking for 250, 1.61 fib. If we get a five wave move 277 and we can look over here. There's a lot of resistance right in there. So, yeah, you can see I'm pretty bullish. Obviously, there's invalidations on these moves, but I'm not going to go over them right now on all of them. That would take too long. Uh, Tesla, I think this is a ABC move again, clearly. And then we have a five-wave move right here. So, one, two, three, four, five. 1.61 Fib is sitting here at... 201 so we'll see if we get there here soon but that would mean that this is probably only going to do something like this and it's come back there down here and hit demand one more time when qqq sells off and then go higher that's what i see um that would mean it's interesting though because this would only be the B wave or the X wave and we'd hit 223 but if we zoom out here 223 is only right up here and then what are we going to do after that um, it probably have to do something like this then be a bigger ABC move Um, the target, based on how far this pulled back, is still like 274. 1.61 fib of 223 is sitting here at 262. So that would make a lot of sense. So I think all these are potentially in ABC patterns. So I'd watch out for that. Microsoft is not. Amazon, ABC pattern. Meta, probably ABC pattern. Tesla, probably ABC pattern. Apple, probably ABC pattern. SPY looks like a five-wave move. QQQ is probably ABC pattern as well. So let's go over the dollar and then maybe Bitcoin and be finished. So the dollar is either making a B wave here and it's going to come back up here and then go down. Or I guess it could be the bottom here as well. I'm still waiting for it to either break above 103 or break below 101.93. It makes more sense for it to finish a five wave move down here and then pull back when QQQ and Spy are pulling back. But um, this would have to keep on going. So I kind of expect this to go down lower tomorrow and then maybe finish somewhere around uh, 101 and then start pulling back to like 104 over the next uh, three or four weeks. 
I think April, mid-April is going to be pretty bearish. So let's go over Bitcoin. I think it's just sitting still. Not much going on there. Yeah, Bitcoin is sitting there, but I think it is ready to go. It's got to get up here to 31.4. Still hasn't um, really moved since for two weeks now. So I think it's about ready to take off and go higher. 31.4 would make a lot of sense if QQQ and SPY went higher over the next couple of days. And then that would end up being the same thing as QQQ and SPY. It could be WXY, W, pullback. And then higher so I don't think Bitcoin is done yet even if it goes to 31.4 I think there could be a pullback and it's probably gonna be an X wave so if it's an X wave we hit 31.4 we're looking at a pullback to 25 to 23,000 before going higher and then I'd probably look for something around probably around like 40k or something like that so I'll leave it at that uh, pretty easy day if you're long. You just watch it, watch your profit go up, and you just got to know where to get stopped out at and let it go. But uh, we should expect more upside here tomorrow and probably early next week before a pullback. And we'll see. If anything unexpected happens tomorrow, then I'll probably make a video during the day. But if it goes according to plan, then I will just make a video tomorrow night. So have a good night. Make sure you like and subscribe for more updates, and I'll talk to you soon.